Hey there music lovers. Today, we're delving into the captivating and heartbreaking story of a true musical talent, Rosalie, Rosie, Hamlin. Her life was a symphony of highs and lows, and her legacy continues to echo through the corridors of music history. Before we dive in, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell, so you never miss out on our deep dives into the lives of music legends. So let's dive in. Rosalie, Rosie, Mendez Hamlin was born in Klamath Falls, Oregon, on July 21, 1945, to Ophelia Juana Mendez and Harry Hamlin. Her mother was Mexican, and her father was of English-American ancestry. She spent part of her childhood between Anchorage, Alaska and California, before her family moved to National City, California. Hamlin came from a musical family. Her father and grandfather were both musicians who had backgrounds in vaudeville. Her father played the guitar, wrote music and sang and her grandfather played banjo and the harmonica and also sang. In the scorching summer of 1956, Rosie's musical journey kicked off in an unexpected way when her mother, with a stroke of serendipity, purchased an old upright piano from a thrift store. Under the guidance of a supportive aunt, Rosie's fingertips met the keys, learning a few chords that would become the foundation of her melodic endeavors. Despite her initial shyness, the determined schoolgirl sought experience by sitting in with local country bands, harmonizing with the rhythms of the San Diego music scene. Even as she navigated the halls of Mission Bay High School, Rosie's passion for music continued to blossom. It wasn't long before fate intervened, and she found herself collaborating with a group of fellow teenage musicians known as the Originals. Amidst the school books and teenage dramas, Rosie crafted the heartfelt lyrics of Angel Baby, a poetic ode to her very first boyfriend etching her teenage emotions and soprano vocals into the fabric of a timeless melody. At the tender age of 15, Rosie Hamlin and her friends embarked on a daring venture, renting the only recording studio within a 100-mile radius of San Diego, nestled in San Marcos, California. The makeshift studio, carved out of an airplane mechanics hangar, witnessed the birth of a musical masterpiece. After securing the master recording, the group took a leap of faith and approached a Crestures department store in downtown San Diego. Persuading the manager to play their creation in the store's music department's listening booth proved to be a game-changer. The response was nothing short of magical, with positive reactions echoing through the ears of teenage listeners. Highland Records soon came knocking with a recording contract in hand, but the terms were bittersweet. The possession of the master recording and crediting David Ponce as the song's author were non-negotiable conditions. Despite these hurdles, Rosie and her band found themselves sharing the stage with Jackie Wilson at the iconic Brooklyn Paramount Theatre in late 1960. The journey to success, however, took an unexpected turn. Angel Baby graced the airwaves in November 1960, gaining traction even before the ink dried on their contract. Tragically, Rosie discovered that she was ineligible for record royalties due to not being credited as the songwriter, eventually leading to the dissolution of the group. Despite securing the copyright to her music in 1961, Rosie faced decades of battles over royalties. Angel Baby soared to number 5 on the Billboard Singles Chart, etching Rosie Hamlin's name in history. On March 30, 1961, she broke barriers as the first Latina to grace Dick Clark's American Bandstand, performing Lonely Blue Nights alongside Rosie and the Originals. In 1961, Angel Baby was also released in Canada on the Zircon label and in Australia and England on London Records. The British release slightly edited the intro. In a historic moment that resonates with the timeless echoes of rock and roll, Rosie and the Originals took the stage as one of the opening band for the iconic Rolling Stones at a monumental 1964 concert held at San Diego's Balboa Park Bowl. This clash of musical titans became a legend in its own right, etching Rosie and her band into the annals of rock history. The show's promoter revealed a fascinating tidbit to the San Diego reader, disclosing the financial dynamics at play. In a surprising turn of events, Rosie and the Originals received a paycheck of $500, surpassing the compensation of the Rolling Stones, who took home $400 for their electrifying performance. Following her departure from Highland Records, Rosie Hamlin embarked on a new chapter, venturing into the realm of a full-length album in collaboration with Originals guitarist Noah Tavola under the banner of Brunswick Records. The musical journey continued as Rosie took to the road, touring alongside the label's other talented artists, showcasing her artistry under her solo name. As fate would have it, love intertwined with her musical pursuits, leading to a union and marriage with guitarist Noah Tavola. The couple shared the joy of parenthood, welcoming two children Joey and Deborah into their lives. Their son, Joey Tavola, would later carve his own niche in the music world, gaining recognition for his solo career in the vibrant 1980s music scene and as a member of the esteemed band Jag Panzer. 
In a poignant turn of events, 1963 marked a pivotal moment in Rosie's life as she chose to bid farewell to the stage, retiring from singing to devote precious time to her growing family. Sadly the marriage was not to last and the couple later divorced. In a triumphant return to the music scene, Rosie Hamlin rekindled the flame of her artistry with the release of singles in 1969, marking a resurgence in her musical journey. This renewed passion continued to resonate through the chords of her soul, leading her back to the recording studio once more in 1973. Throughout the ensuing decades, Rosie's stage presence became a sporadic yet captivating spectacle, gracing audiences with occasional performances in the 1970s and 1980s. However, it was in the vibrant tapestry of the 1990s and 2000s that her musical legacy truly thrived. The late 90s brought a resurgence of recognition for Rosie and the originals, solidifying their enduring impact on the musical landscape. In 1995, their story was immortalized on the silver screen in the film My Family, where they were portrayed performing the timeless Angel Baby. The role of Rosie Hamlin was brought to life by Jeanette Jurado of the group Expose, breathing new life into the iconic track. A year later, in 1996, the legendary Linda Ronstadt paid homage to Rosie and the Originals by recording her own rendition of Angel Baby for the album dedicated to the one I love. The turn of the millennium saw a celebration of their discography as Ace Records unveiled the best of Rosie and the Originals in 1999, a comprehensive compilation featuring Highland tracks, Brunswick recordings, and previously unreleased gems. The following year, the label continued to unearth hidden treasures with the release of Angel Baby Revisited offering fans a glimpse into the treasure trove of unreleased material that had long been hidden in the annals of musical history. The highlights of this era included a memorable performance at the illustrious Madison Square Garden in 2002, where Rosie's voice echoed through the iconic venue. Tragically, the curtain fell on Rosie Hamlin's remarkable musical journey not long after her resonating performance at Madison Square Garden. In the face of advanced fibromyalgia, Rosie made the difficult decision to formally retire from the stage. The insidious grip of fibromyalgia, with its myriad symptoms ranging from chronic widespread pain and debilitating fatigue to cognitive challenges, abdominal pain, and depression, created an immense hurdle for her to continue performing. The relentless battle with insomnia further compounded the challenges she faced. Despite the adversity, Rosie gracefully transitioned into a well-deserved retirement, channeling her creative spirit into the serene realms of painting and nurturing a beautiful garden. While the stage lights dimmed, Rosie's artistic flame continued to flicker in the quiet, vibrant corners of her personal sanctuary. On March 30, 2017, marked the somber end of an era as Rosie Hamlin peacefully passed away in her sleep at her New Mexico home, leaving behind a profound legacy in the world of music. The exact causes of her passing remain undisclosed. Rosie is survived by her children, Joey and Deborah, and additionally another child, John, born several years later. Rosie Hamlin's legacy stands as a testament to the enduring power of her musical artistry. The enchanting, Angel Baby, resonated not only with listeners but also found a special place in the heart of music icon John Lennon, who held it as one of his favorite songs and covered the track in 1975. Her achievements were recognized by the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, where she became the first Latina to be honored on their wall of one-hit wonders, a fitting tribute to her unique impact on the industry. The celebration of Rosie's legacy continued in July 2007, as a heartfelt concert was held at the Pearson Park Amphitheater in Anaheim, California, honoring the indelible mark she left on the hearts of music enthusiasts worldwide. Rosie Hamlin's influence endures, a melody echoing through the corridors of time. And there you have it, the captivating story of Rosie Hamlin, the girl who turned her teenage dreams into timeless melodies. From the halls of Mission Bay High School to the stages with the originals, Rosie's journey is a testament to the power of passion and persistence. If you enjoyed this trip down memory lane, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button for more musical tales. Catch you in the next episode and bye for now.